party can get trend If your boys want beef, then your body's full of lead It's party. It's a war, and you better bring your best If your body has a vest, then it's off with his head When the right, when the pen is gonna lay you down to rest It's Yo, what's good? What's poppin'? It's your homie Tommy B, Bar CEO, and I'm back with another installment of Tommy B's Two Cents for Bars Beef Night Volume 17. 17. 17 times we went to Beef Night, and every single card was amazing, and this one's gonna be even better than all the rest. This is probably the most stacked card I've ever put together. And there's high stakes in this card, too, because we got a crown a new this track division champion. We got a number one contenders matchup, and we also got a FEMC division championship battle. So shit's going to be crazy. So let me get into these battles. First off, I want to say salute to the Bars fam. Salute to everyone who's been following the movement. We've been nothing but strong all year long. This is our second year going at it. Um... Yeah, we're looking forward to 2016 already because there's going to be a lot of changes, a lot of dope shit about to happen, and shit's about to get real. So anyways, let's get let's get into this card. Let me talk a little bit about every battle. Probably going to talk everyone's ears off, but hey, this is what we do, man. It's all about bars all day, every day. Let's get it, yo. So our opening battle is going to be a freestyle battle between Billy Hughes, a.k.a. Blizz, who is 7-5, versus Terrell James, who is 0-1. Um, basically it's a freestyle battle, so pretty much anything can happen. Um, on one side we got Blizz, who's pretty much, you know, battling all the time and battling, um, free, uh, freestyle and singles, but, uh, freestyle is really where he's starting to shine, you know what I mean? He's got a pretty decent record. He just took a loss. His last loss was to the actual freestyle champion, Villain DiBiase. Um, but it was a strong outing, and you know what I mean? I don't think that, uh, Blizz did bad. I don't think that that was his last uh, showing. I think this this is probably going to be his comeback battle, hopefully. I mean, it's been a while. It's been at least a month or so since he's got back in the ring. Hopefully, he's not rusty. He's going to face uh, Terrell James, a.k.a. Yes, Indeed. Now, I've seen a lot of work from Yes, Indeed. I've seen some of his, uh, his live battles, and pretty much everything he's done on his live battles has all been freestyle. So, take, it, take that in perspective. You know what I mean? He, this kid can battle on freestyle beating people that have written so his freestyle ability is going to be dope mind you he lost his last battle but not showing up so let's hopefully let's hope that he shows up because if he does show up he's going to bring the heat um if i had to pick a winner in this i would definitely have to go with terrell james if he shows up just because i've seen the work he's done nothing against blizz i mean blizz is blizz at the end of the day but terrell james has got that special freestyle man that could actually take over any battle um if if i was a uh, villain dibiase and this guy shows up i'll be watching this one <clears throat> so on to the next uh battle we got gavin flament aka chaotic versus dennis gord aka genesis now genesis is six and eight and chaotic is zero and one Genesis battle battling ability has been going through the roof. He is starting to be more seasoned every time we see him. He's doing his live thing. He's getting a lot of views. He's getting a lot of hype. I mean, he's get he's getting a head on his shoulders, which is which is what you need in battle rap. He's starting to get confidence, and confidence can be lethal in this game. You know what I mean? On the other hand, we got uh, chaotic. Chaotic is what his name is, man. This guy's fucking nuts. He's crazy. He doesn't give a fuck who you are where you're from you know what you did this guy is like this guy's top notch man he used to be a soldier he's fucking crazy you know what i mean he's seen some shit so only guy can tell you what this guy can fucking do um this battle is gonna be good i'm actually really excited to see what happens in this battle because both mcs have actually fired shots at each other um this is probably the only battle on the card that actually has beef so i'm excited to see what happens um if I were to pick a winner, I'd have to go with Genesis on this one. Not because Chaotic's bad, because Chaotic's got bars and he's got jokes. But I, I feel that um, Genesis is more seasoned right now and he's got he's on a roll with his live shit. So I, I feel like he's just going to come in and try to take over. But this battle really can go any other, any way because it, it's the classic jokes versus bars, you know, debate. You know, if we get a good, if we get a judge that likes 
prefers bars over over jokes, Genesis is gonna get the clear win. But if if the judges like jokes, this could be a lot closer than people think. But my pick's Genesis on this one, and that's it. So on to the next one. We got Rowan Rain and Constantine. Now, haven't seen much from Rowan Rain. This is his bars debut. I have seen him on other pages doing text battles and stuff, but you can only go as far, you know, as with lyrical ability. You can't really go on performance for text. Uh, Constantine, you know, arguably is probably one of the best video battlers out there right now. Um, a lot of people are behind him. He's been busy doing his own thing, promoting and shit. Um, I don't know how much time and effort he's going to put into this battle. But if I had to pick between those two, not knowing Roman Reign, I'm going to have to go with Constantine just because the way he um, performed against LT the Beast here on bars. Um, it's going to be one hell of a battle, though. That's going to be a good one. On to the next one, we got Jonathan Diaz, a.k.a. Joe, versus D, uh, D. Huron, a.k.a. D-Bars. D-Bars is 14. The dude's been putting in work. He's been here a long time. He's a Bars OG. Salute to him, man. He's been following our movement for a long time. He's been a part of the committee. He's been he's been a big uh, reason why Bars is so successful. He's facing a good MC that actually shows up and does his thing. You know what I mean? Um, Jonathan Diaz, a.k.a. Joe. Um, this is his Bars debut. He uh, He's from Spit Your Bars movement. He's definitely got shit to talk about. And he's got bars, man. He's not a bad MC, and he's a perfect matchup for D. I think D needs this win to be to stay relevant in this league because he's been up and down. I mean, this is going to be his breakout battles, in my opinion. Um, if I had to pick, I mean, not many people know Jonathan Diaz. I mean, I I've been following him on Switcher Bars. He's got some shit. Do I think he's going to be D bars? I don't think so. Only because. He has bad video quality. Um, a lot of his shit is hard to uh, listen to because the the video is not very good. But if he finds a better place to take his videos and actually has it done well, he does have bars. His performance does need a little work. But um, all I want to see is more of this guy. I think the more he shows up, the better he's going to be. Um, I do think D is going to win this. D bars is going to get the win. Um, but definitely Jonathan Diaz is something I want to see more. Salute to him and the Spitcher Bars movement. On to the next. We got Riz ZJ or Riz J versus uh, Joshua Ramirez, a.k.a. Nice. Um, nice is my homeboy, man. Uh, how can I not go against him? Nice is amazing. You know what I mean? Every time he steps up to the ring, it's just like, wow. You know what I mean? Like, this boy is nice. You know what I mean? This dude can... This guy can pull off anything. I think he's probably top five, at least in bars, in my opinion. And that's a lot coming from the CEO that pays attention to everything. Um, but he is facing a top-notch MC in Riz J. Riz J, this is his bars debut. Um, he's been back and forth throughout the fire, throughout the flames, you know what I mean? He's he's named Gunbar King, you know what I mean? He's He definitely fits the suit for battle rap. I've never seen a bad performance from him. That's why he's getting nice. Um, these two MCs are actually going to duke it out. This is going to be like a collision. This could probably be battle of the night. You know, Between this battle and one other battle could be battle of the night. But this card is stacked anyway. So I'm excited to see this. If I had to pick... Um, now this is Rizzy J's Bars debut. So now I don't know how many people are going to know him. I know a lot of people know him from other pages. But in Bars, who knows? I'm not saying that that's going to do anything against whatever the judges feel. Um, I'm gonna have to go with Nice on this. I feel Nice is just, you know, he's so sharp and, and well-rounded right now. He's, uh, he's definitely got this for me. Not saying he's gonna walk away with it, but I think that he's gonna get this. Um, Rizzy J is definitely, you know, gonna give him a run for his money, though. And this is gonna be a good battle. On to the main card. Um, we got Roland Williams, aka Streets Messiah versus James Carr. Now this battle right here is probably going to be battle of the night not many people know james carr he's one and oh he beat given talents given talents actually gave up on that battle he did not not show up because he didn't have bars he 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 didn't show up because he knew he lost that battle james fucking bodied him so with that said and the work i've seen on james james is also a spit your bars dude um james got some shit I mean, um, everyone's going to be on the Streets Messiah bandwagon because <coughs> they know what he's capable of, and I know what he's capable of. Streets
streets besides the nine and two for a reason. He just came off a loss versus uh, Eric Ortega for the bars championship. Streets is gonna be hungry. Streets is not. Streets is gonna fucking crush whoever comes in his way in this battle. James Carr is just you know he's at the wrong place at the wrong time, so to speak. You know what I mean? Anyone else? James Carr is gonna get the win, but since Streets Messiah is the Streets Messiah that just lost, I'm gonna have to go with Streets Messiah. He's gonna be hard. He's hard to beat on any night. I can only imagine what it's gonna be like after losing to Eric Ortega for the championship. On to the next battle, and this is the third last battle of the night. This is for the FEMC Division Championship, and this is gonna be the first ever FEMC video battle. So this is gonna be fun to see. Um, we got Chassis. Stevenson versus Tiffany Spitfire Cooper. Now, Tiffany has already beat Chastity in a text battle for the championship. We haven't seen Chastity since. So, you know, Chastity wants to up to Annie and make it a video battle. Tiffany agreed. And then we're going to have the first ever FEMC division battle on video. So this is going to be cool to see. Um, if I had to pick, it, this is hard because I know Chastity needs work on delivery. She does have bars, but she needs work on delivery. Now, Tiffany's got bars. I don't know what kind of delivery she has, so I can't really pick on this. Bar-wise, I think Chastity has the better bar-wise thing, but the, but the the presentation of the of the battle, it, it's all going to be in performance, you know what I mean? So we're going to see what they what they do. I can't pick a winner on that. I'm going to say, fuck, I, I'm going to have to go with Tiffany on it. I, I know. I, it just, I think Tiffany's going to spit better, and that's all I can say. Okay, so the co-main event, singles division, uh, number one contendership. Um, winner of this will face Eric Ortega in the next Beef Night or Cyber Carnage, depending on what we do for December. Um, Jackson is 18 and 10. And uh, Corey McCarthy, a.k.a. Charlie Leeds, is 16 and 6. That's going to be one hell of a battle. Right there, both MCs got over 10 wins. They're both well-rounded. They're both seasoned. They're both bars vets. Um, the problem is, I think G.J. Rutledge has been going through some shit lately. He didn't show up to his Denali battle, so he lost that by DQ. I have a feeling the same thing's going to happen. I don't want it to happen, but it, it may well happen. Um, I do also feel that uh, Rutledge isn't really a, a video MC at this point. I think he's tried it. He he's He's been okay at it, but he's not fully comfortable with it. Lubes, that's all he's done. That's all he's ever going to do. I think Lubes is going to take this. Um, not only is my scan approved brother, but I, I believe in this dude 100%. And he's going to give Eric Ortega a run for his money. Not saying, you know, if, if Rutledge shows up, it's going to be a battle. But I don't know. It's hard to say, but I'm going to have to go with Lubes on that. And now the final battle of the night. Um, we got Carl C. Notes Herbert a, versus Dave Vandenberg, a.k.a. Denali. Now, Denali's last two diss track battles, whew, that Streets diss was dope. The fucking, you know, beating King Champ, fucking uh, Swake, just bodied Swake. I, I was surprised by the outcome of that battle right away. I mean, I'm not really surprised with what Denali can do. He is the fucking producer of SP. He knows his shit. Um, and it's funny because this is like, you know, homie versus homie thing. Both MCs know each other very well. Um, you know, if you don't know, Charlie Lubes is uh, uh, C Note's cousin. So, you know, there's blood there. You know what I mean? And Denali and Lubes are tight. They're the tag team champions. So, there's going to be a lot of, you know, a lot of personals in this, I think. Um, and and this is going to be for the first ever diss track championship. So it's going to be cool to see to see this division you know take off because now that there's a champion, you know a lot of people are going to be interested in it, and I think there's going to be a lot of shit that's going to go down in that division. With that, all that said, you know, and I'm not taking anything away from C Notes, but I think Denali's got this one. Um, I think just mm -hmm. a little bit more experience, but C Note, at a, any MC I've seen on a track. Or just any MC, you know, all together uh, has made the most improvements. Uh, I've been following them for a while since I joined SP. I've seen a lot of different um, ideas he's done in tracks. A lot of different swag. A lot of different beats. You know what I mean? He's he's starting to be, come around, and, and I don't think he's gonna win this battle, but I think this he's gonna learn a lot from this battle. Um, yeah, and that's just what I'm going. Also in this. Uh, you know, that's going to be Beef Night 17. You know what I mean? That's just all those battles. I mean, fuck. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Man, 10 battles, and they're all going to be fire. Hopefully, people that show up, I mean, uh, Terrell James and GJ, Ever, just please show up and make this event full. It's been a while since we had a popping off event. I mean, the last Cyber Carnage was a complete fail. Um, you know, Beef Night is just, you know, it's going to be the future of bars. You know I mean, we'll see how this event goes. You know what I mean? The way bars have been going, it's hard to say what, what the future is. You know what I mean? Not saying that I'd stop it, not saying that I'd quit, but makes it hard when I'm seeing text battles all the time and I'm not seeing all the video battles that we're used to seeing and not seeing the activity either you know I mean text battles are cool to see and use it, but the activity in our, our league has been you know crazy and that's like nothing you know so hopefully this revives the shit um you know it's been crazy it's been a crazy couple of months you know what I mean um but 2016 is gonna be brighter days you know believe that you know mark my words 2016 is gonna take off for us it's only going to get better. We're going to look for a website. We're going to look for other a whole bunch of different shit. I'm not going to let it all out of the bag now, but we got ideas. But yeah, Beef Night Volume 17 is going to be fire as fuck. I cannot wait. And I hope you all can't wait either. It's craziness about to happen, man. But anyways, I'm about to go. It's your CEO, Tommy B. Bars at the end of the day, all day, every single fucking day. One more time. Bars, bitch.